So for some of you who might not know, the new Lifetime movie, Michael Jackson Searching for Neverland, just debuted this Memorial Day. And in honor of the movie coming out, I figured I would talk about something that's Michael Jackson related, since I'm a huge fan of Michael Jackson. And you may have noticed in some of my videos, I do use his music at times. In fact, if you go and rewatch my Where's My Channel Going video, I use Michael Jackson's song Childhood from his history album. So today, I'm going to be talking about an impersonator that's been getting very popular recently. His name is Michael Trapson. Think of him as Michael Jackson if he made trap music. Now, if I want to be honest, he's okay, okay? I have, I have to give him credit. He's a fairly decent artist. But there's a lot of things to him that just make me feel weird. For example, he made a song literally called Billie Jean and I Dab. I'm not kidding. That is a real song name. And even more freakier, the song is actually pretty good. This isn't an ironic joke or anything. This is actually good. For once, a song about dabbing that's actually good. Rhinestones in my hand, Michael Jackson in the man. Billy Jean's in that dab, Billy Jean's in that dab. Tiptoe on the stand, chicks know I'm the man. Billy Jean's in that dab, Billy Jean's in that dab. Another thing that I really like about Michael Trapson is that he does if Michael Jackson was a stoner parodies. He did one on Human Nature, and he also did one on Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. And he also did a good cover of Panda by Designer. I got bras in the land, credit cards in the scan, never land, got the bench up. I get your girl, then I bang her. Peter Pan, but I've been the man, got your girl, she all in my hand. I'ma go break her all, I don't care if she fuck her white just like a bitch. Okay, okay, look, I'm sorry, I, I just had to do it, I, I just had to do it. Another thing that Michael Trapson likes to do on his channel is if Michael Jackson blank. I've already brought up if Michael Jackson was a stoner, but he also did if Michael Jackson made Thriller today and if Michael Jackson was a mumble rapper, which is right now his most popular video. The main reason why I'm saying that his channel's weird is that I can't wrap my head around the concept of Michael Jackson being a trap artist. It's just like with Baby Metal. If you may even might know who Baby Metal is, they're the most popular, well, one of the most popular Japanese bands of all time. The mix between death metal and Japanese pop didn't sound right to begin with, but when you listen to their music, it actually worked out pretty well. And not only that the mix of two completely different genres of music being mixed into one went well for them, they even got a Super Mario Maker costume. Okay, I'm starting to get off topic. Let's let's get back to what we're talking about here. So yeah, I personally think that Michael Trapson sounds a bit weird when you think about it, having Michael Jackson being a trap artist, but it did went well for him as well. I mean, he's got 100k subscribers for doing this. But I want to hear what you think. What do you think about Michael Trapson? Do you like him or do you hate him? Tell me in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan that you want to submit to me, you can submit them all via Twitter, Discord, or in the comment section below via the hashtag hashtag DOT Gaming. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.